Registrar and Chief Executive Officer of the National Examinations Council, NECO, Professor Ibrahim Bushishi, has highlighted examination malpractice as one of the biggest challenges bedeviling the conduct of public examinations in Nigeria. The Registrar stated this at a one-day sensitization workshop organized by the Council in collaboration with the National Assembly in Abuja. Education correspondent Ene Anthony reports. According to Ibrahim Wushishi, Registrar of National Examination Council, NECO, examination malpractice will in no doubt make a mockery of any educational qualification and discredit institution of learning. No doubt, examination malpractice has a tendency to discourage hard work among serious students. It lowers educational standards, discredits certificates that are earned, and leads to the production of quacks, thereby affecting the manpower needs of the nation. The stakeholders at the sensitization workshop called on well-meaning Nigerians and key stakeholders to work together and end issues of examination malpractice in the country. We have, in the course of these workshops, dwelt extensively on the subject matter of examination malpractice and have all come to the conclusion that it is one practice that can completely rob our educational system of credibility. So we need to design how we bring in community institutions and hold them accountable. And sanctions must be very severe, both on the institution where this is perpetrated and on the perpetrators because if we don't take care of this, we are breeding a group of crooks, hardened criminals, professionals that would sell this country if they can. All of you that are receiving coffers that are coming from tertiary institutions now, subject them to some question, subject them to some basic examination. All of you will be shocked or what will come out of that one. That's another bad thing that is coming all from this examination and practices. Examination malpractice will make formal assessment unreliable, educational objectives unattainable, and also portend a bleak future for the society. Anne Anthony, Silverbird News 24, Abuja.